pack of cards you will get two two boxes if you open one box there you can find 27 cards and which are in all red color and another box you can find black color box and if you count them all then you will get a 27 and out of those 27 cards red cards and black cards you can find one joker from red cards and one joker from black cards and jokers are not used in uh, problems what we are discussing in the probability so that's why we will delete we will uh, we will uh, <clears throat> dismiss these two cards then we have 26 plus 26 totally 52 cards now uh, pack means 52 cards out of this uh, pack we have four different suits suit means all cards are uh, having same symbol that is called suit so we will have four suits out of the four suits one suit is uh, hearts if you count them they will be 13 cards and they are from red so in red you can find two types of cards the first one is hearts and the other one is diamond so 13 plus 13 if they are looking like same so we call it as a suit and in black color you can you can find club 13 and spade 13 and the respective symbols are looking like the same okay so in black there are two suits in red there are two suits 13 each and in that uh, 13 cards you can find uh, the following cards a2 a means ace card uh, card number 2 card number 3 and so on card number 10 and jock queen king this jock queen king uh, together are called uh, picture cards or also it is called face cards in each suit there are three cards in total pack uh, there are four suits now so four into three twelve picture cards now the number cards are number of number cards are nine that means in total pack we have four into nine thirty six number cards particularly speaking uh, red number cards are uh, 18 black number cards are uh, 18 okay if you mix these picture cards with ace card then they are called honor cards so honor cards are totally four and if you count the entire pack you have a four fours are 16 honor cards in the entire pack okay now yeah. we will do the following questions so what he said in the first question in the first question he said a jar contains 12 red these are all done right these are completed yeah and now we are doing this uh, die question example 12 mm, die question is also completed so we are doing 12th question uh read the question a standard pack of cards consists of a total 52 cards red 13 diamond 13 in black 13 club 13 states and all this is all description we already discussed this from a standard pack of 52 playing cards one card is drawn how many cards are selected one card mm -hmm. is selected out of the 52 so what is the sample space for that what is the sample space two two three four five six seven eight yeah. jack king queen yes so first question what he said in the first question ace card so he wants to draw ace card let a be the event of selecting selecting ace card and what is the n of s so selecting one card from 52 this can be represented by 52 c1 understood c means selection c indicates selection c actually it's a latin word 
Latin word. It means uh, combination. Combination. Combination is nothing but selection. So we indicated with a C. There are N things. You have to select uh, from there R things. For example, if you went to uh, purchase a dress, a new dress uh, from the store, okay? There you can find so many dresses. For example, N dresses uh, the, uh, that uh, person representative um, uh, <clears throat> offered you to uh, buy those one of the dress. How many you need? Only R dresses you need. So selection is indicated with C, mathematically speaking. So NCR means total available things is N. What we want? How many we want? That will be R. This fact is also written as C of N comma R. Both are same. NCR is same as C of N comma R. Okay. So 52 C1, that means out of 52, selecting one thing, it will be 52 only. Okay. 52 only. So your sample space is 52. Ways you can select a card from the pack. Now what is N of A? Now tell me how many aces is there? Four. Four aces. What are the four aces? This is a ace, right? And also we have this kind of ace. Okay. And also we have a three ace. Okay, and what is next? Diamond. Diamond is. Okay, got it? So, yeah. totally we have four aces. Out of them, how many we want? Only one. <laughs> Only one. So, what you write mathematically? 4C1. 4C1 is nothing but four. Okay, now coming to the point, probability of A. Probability of A, the formula is what we want in the numerator. And what is happening entirely in the in that work is denominator. So write down n of s as denominator. What we want n of a that will be in the numerator. Okay. So n of a we counted that as a four, and n of s we counted that is a fifty-two. So four goes to fifty-two thirteen times. So one by thirteen is the answer. Understood? Yeah. Okay. Next question, a spade. Tell me the answer, a spade. How many spades is there? 13. 13, yes. So say B is equal to spade, spade card. So N of B is equal to 13 cards is there, spade color. Spade means which card? Spade. Spade means leaf type card. Black. Yeah. yeah, this card. This card is called spade. So how many they exist? The entire suit. Entire 13. suit means 13 cards. 13 C1 is 13. Okay. Now we will calculate probability for the event B. B means uh, that spade card selecting. So what is the formula N of B by N of S? Okay. So N of B is how much? 13. N of S is how much? 52. 13 goes to 50 to 4 times. So 1 by 4 is the answer of this question. Understood? Yeah. Next, Red King. Red King. So let us suppose the event is C. C equal to Red King. Okay. So red king, how many red kings is there? Diamond king. Diamond king is also red king, right? Diamond yeah. king. And also heart king. Heart king is also red color, right? Yeah. 
So totally, n of c will be two cards actually. Out of them, we want only the one. So two c one, which is two c one is two. So probability of c is. We know the formula n of c divided by n of s. So this will be two divided by fifty two. So you can cancel that in a one by twenty six two table one by twenty six times. Now this is the answer of this question. Understood? Yeah. Next after Red King, picture card. Do you know what is picture card? Tell me. Jack, King, Queen, and Ace. Actually, how many exist in the entire pack? That's the thing. Only, tell me. only three. Third, twelve. Yes, correct answer. So, picture cards. Picture card. <clears throat> picture cards often Jack, Queen, uh, Queen, King are called picture cards. And uh, they are totally n of d equal to how many they are? Four threes are twelve. Twelve out of those twelve, we want only the one. So twelve c one will be twelve. So probability of d equal to n of d by n of s. And this is equal to twelve out of fifty two. You can cancel in four table three times thirteen times. So three by thirteen is the answer. Understood? Yeah. Now that was completed. Twelfth question. Now move to thirteenth question. A box contains red, yellow, and blue cards. Okay. There is a box. He said. Let's draw the box. This is a box. Okay. Uh, box means maybe it was looking like this. This is a box. In this box, uh, he said in the box, red, yellow, and uh, yeah, red, yellow, and blue cards. Red, yellow, and blue cards. Okay. So how many they are? The probability of selecting a red card is one by five. The probability selecting a yellow card is one by ten. The probability of selecting blue card is how much? Very interesting question. It doesn't say anything. So let us suppose R is selecting. R means selecting red card. Red card, and he gave the probability. P of R is equal how much? How much he said? One by one over five. One by five. So Y indicates selecting, selecting yellow card, selecting yellow card, and P of Y probability of Y. He said probability of yellow 10. card is one by ten. And uh, let us suppose B means selecting, selecting blue card, selecting blue card. And we want to. Uh, we don't know that how much is that probability. We know that. We know that. Tell me how much is the sum of probabilities. We know that. One. Yes, one. Sum of probabilities is one. Sum of probability one means p of r plus p of y plus p of b is equal to one. How much is p of r? One by five, p of y is one by ten, p of b we don't know, and the total is equal to one. So therefore, p of b equal to one minus one by five minus one by ten. That means p of b is equal to ten is the LCM here, ten minus two minus one, and how much is that? Seven out of ten. This is the probability of a. Blue ball selecting blue card selecting from the box. Understood? Yeah. Is there any doubt in that? No. Fourteen. 
from a deck of uh, from a deck uh, deck means actually he is talking about the cards playing cards pack of cards simply often they are called this as a deck from a deck containing only picture cards containing only picture cards a number of cards were elected selected maybe the probability of drawing from the selected set a king is 0.35 and the queen is 0.4 what is the value of the follow following expressed as a decimals okay here you can calculate that what he said mm, what he said uh, selecting a king a king so let's suppose probability of write down like this what he said he said like this probability of king is 0.35 and also he said probability of queen is queen is 0.4 he said only picture cards exist on that and he said the king probability and queen probability you know that what is a picture card means a picture card contains picture card contains only jack queen king king probability was given 0.35 queen probability was given 0.4 and jock probability is how much he is asking and no other cards in there in that pack all cards are deleted okay so two of the cards probability given and the other card probability is asking we know that sum of probabilities sum of probabilities equal to 1 okay that means 0.35 0.4 plus probability of jack will be all will be equal to 1 okay how much is 0.35 and 0.4 0.75 plus probability of jack okay you can solve this equation right equal to 1 now probability of jack equal to so how much is that 1 minus 0.75 which is 0.25 This point two five is the probability for the jack card. Understood? Yeah. Hmm. Next, uh, some more questions. What is the probability of jack plus king? So jack plus king is nothing but probability of jack plus probability of king. Okay. probability jock we just calculated it was 0.25 probability king was given how much is that probability king 0.35 write down 0.35 so add them sum them all how much it is 0.6 this is the answer for the second question and he is asked uh, sum of all will be 1 you know that right sum of all yeah. probabilities is 1 next without replacement the digits 1 3 4 5 are written on the cards without replacement this is the case of without replacement what is the meaning of without replacement if you draw a card and you you are not going to uh, replace it in the same pack of cards you are uh, throwing away that card or uh, keeping somewhere Uh, which will be not included in the previous deck of cards that is the procedure is called without replacement okay on that cards what he wrote he wrote the numbers 1 3 4 5 <laughs> are uh, written on the cards and these cards uh, are then used to form a four digit number calculate the probability that the number formed is even actually <clears throat> Okay, one three four five are used, right? One three four five are used. One three four five are used. You have to form a four-digit number card. You have to form a four-digit number card. Can you tell me how many possibilities without replacement? He said, without replacement. that means each number is used only one time okay 
Yeah. Okay, I will show you, right? Uh, how the experiment was conducted. So first, uh, you will draw a card from that uh, box. A card was drawn from that box and it will be how much? One. Okay, if you draw this card in the same box, there will be a chance again you will get the same one number card, right? If you throw this away from the box, throw this away, this card, what you choose in uh, at, uh, first, uh, as a first card, if you throw that away, then this number will not be repeated, right? So that's what without replacement he said. That means each number is used only one time without replace. without replacement. Now, first we will calculate the sample space. Okay? Sample space. So, these are the actually boxes. Uh, let me know which number you can uh, place in these boxes. Which number first you can place in these boxes? Tell me. One. Are you going to fill this uh, this box or this box or this box or this box? Which one? Pick one first box. One. Why are you first choosing one. always first one? I choose the this one. I choose the middle one. Okay. No problem. Any box you can choose. No problem. Any box you can choose. This box I choose. Okay. So how yeah. many numbers is there? Four. So out of the four numbers i choose one number for this box and i i throw that uh, card away and again i am choosing so which place you are going to fill next i i fill this box this place okay so now tell me how many cards in the box three three so write down three out of one you will select and i throw in that one also next i will fill this box Yes, tell me how many boxes? 2C1. Two. Two. Two numbers. I will choose one to put this box. Put in this box. And at last 1C1. One one. Okay, understood? Yeah. Understood this procedure? Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, what are the choices? Tell me. 4C1. 3C1. 2C1. 1C1. Am I correct? 4C1 is, you know, 4, 3C1 is 3, 2C1 is 2, 1C1 is 1. How much is this? 24. Therefore, remember, N of S is 24 for this case. Understood? Yes. Yeah. Now, coming to the point, to make that number as even number. So, to create an even number, what are the restrictions? Tell me. To create the even number, you should use only one, three, four, five. One. Can I can I put this one in the last place? Then it will. You can say no. it is even. No, no. Can four I put the three? In the last in the, place. No. Yes, four should be in the last place. Okay. Do one thing. Fix this four here. You are fixing this one. So write down one C one. You are fixing that now. So write down one C one. If you are fixing that, and it was not going to the other cards then it will be only, it can be done, that procedure can be done in only one way. So write down 1C1. Understood? Only yes. 4 is eligible for uh, sitting in the last chair. Because we want to create an even number, no? So that's why. 4 will be placed in the last place. Okay, now how many numbers left? 3. 3. So, which box you are going to fill that uh, at first? You, you already done this uh, box. This was restriction. Always you have to perform the restrictions first. Always perform. Always perform restrictions. What is the restriction? You should perform that the first. Restriction as first. As first. Okay. Later you will do as your wish. Yes, three numbers. Which box is going to be filled by you? 
I will fill this middle box always. How many numbers? Three. You can put one number in that, right? And next, yeah. I will fill this box. Two numbers I had. And next, I will fill this box, right? Understood? Yes. Yeah. So write down A equal to A equal to preparing preparing even number. <clears throat> so what is N of A? N means I already told you number of N of A means number of number of ways of event A. So N of A equal to, we already calculated this box, 1C1, 3C1, 2C1, 1C1. 1C1 is 1, 3C1 is 3, 2C1 is uh, 2, 1C1 is 1. Okay. Now how much is this? 6. Now we will calculate probability. So probability of A is equal to N of A by N of S. What is N of A? 6. What is N of S? 24. Look at this N of S, 24. Now look at this N of A. 6. 6 out of 24 means 1 by 4. This is the answer. Understood? Yeah. Next, uh, greater than 3000. That is the next restriction. N of S will be same, okay? Greater than three thousand numbers we have to create. Let us say this is B. B equal to um, <clears throat> greater than three thousand. Now create greater than 3000. Um, so four boxes. Greater than what are the digits given to you? 1, 3, 4, 5, right? Yeah. Now tell me, can I uh, fill the this box with 1? Is it more than? Then it will be 1000 number, no? Yeah. If I write 1 in the first place and write anything on the next places, then it will be? 1000, it can be read as 1345 or 1000, 1534 or 1345 and so on. All these numbers are not useful to us. Why? Why? Because we need the more than 3000. That means this box uh, shall be filled by the numbers either 3 or 4 or 5. Am I correct or wrong? If you yeah. fill the first box with 3, and anything will be next to that number, then it will be more than 3,000, right? Yeah. Okay. If you fill the first box with 4 and writing any number after that, it will be also more than 4,000, okay? More than 3,000. We want only more than 3,000. If you write any number at, uh, after this 5, which was uh, presented 5 in the first place, so, how many uh, acceptances for the first place? Out of those three numbers, three numbers, what yeah. are the numbers? Either three you can write. Either three you can write. Four or five. Or you can also write four. Or you can also fill this box with five. So, these three numbers has permission to occupy this first box. Then only you will get a number more than 3000. Understood? So, three numbers has eligibility. So, but uh, each time you should, uh, you, you are able to write only one number to fill this box. That's why I wrote 3C1. Three numbers has permission. Those three numbers are 3, 4, 5. These three numbers has permission and this is only one box. So, each time we can select only one number to fill this box. So, the ways are 3C1. So, this is the restriction here. After completing the restriction, uh, we will uh, freely uh, fill the remaining boxes. Okay, I will tell you. So, how many boxes will it tell me? 
how many one. boxes filled only one box filled right yeah. only one box how many digits with how many digits you filled this one box only three. one only, only one. one so each time only one no with three options ay ah, three options has permission but you can practically each only time one, yeah. yes each time you will fill you will fill fill the box fill the box only with uh, one number right yeah one number you can fill yes how many numbers left with you three three numbers very good so <clears throat> just fill this box 3c1 yes you have right for example practically i will show you this question so just write down the three in the first box okay if you write three in the first box then anything will be written in the next boxes then they are all more than 3000 right three is already yeah. used three is already yeah. used right so how many uh, digits left with you one is there one, four, four is five. there five is there right so you can fill this box uh, this is write down 1p1 because we settled that three in that uh, internal box we settled that number right so 1 1p1 or 1c1 both are same so write down uh, 3c1 why because three numbers available using these out of these three numbers you can use one number to fill this box and after that you have 2c1 and after that you have 1c1 okay so not only you can fill this first box with uh, three you can also fill this first box with four also right so you are fixing this digit no so write down 1c1 and this has choices 3c1 this has choices 2c1 this has choices 1c1 understood this procedure yeah so yeah. one time we will fix three another time we will fix four another time we will we will fix five how many times we have to perform the same operation three times three that's what i am performing at the same time in a single step write down 3c1 so how many numbers left with you now three numbers 3c1 three. Three 2c1 1c1 understood yeah if it was not understood then i will go with the individual cases i got it i understood okay very good then so now n of b is equal to 3c1 i am multiplying all the these numbers why why multiplying because this is entire work you know so if you have to multiply if the work is yet not completed until completion of that work you should multiply the things together so 3c1 first 3c1 second 3c1 2c1 into 1c1 so how much is this 3 into 3c1 18. means 3 yeah 2 into 1 so 3 3 is 9 9 2 is 18 understood therefore probability of uh, the event b that is greater than 3000 is n of b divided by n of s therefore what is n of b 18, 18. what is n of s 24 24 so three table you can cancel three eights are 24 three sixes are 18 again you can cancel in two table three times four times so three by four understood this is the three by four is the answer yeah next question okay next to 16 <clears throat> A die weighted so that the number 6 comes up twice as often as any other number. Find the probability rolling 6. Weighted means it was programmed. Weighted means it was programmed die. Programmed die means weighted means programmed die. That means it was not a normal die. Okay. If the if you roll the normal die, it will show any number out of from one to six. But it was not like that. It was weighted, so it was weighted so that the number six comes up. That means getting six 
getting six number up twice as often any other number getting any other number okay this was the program of that any other number means uh, say it is k any other number so totally <clears throat> totally how many times you have to roll this how many times you have to roll this die three times every every two times what it is showing six six every two times so twice as often as any other number any other number means uh, the six appears twice with an, okay. any other number that means die was rolled die was rolled die was rolled three times three times every three times every three times six shows six is shown uh, two times two times out of three times okay other number other number other number shown other number shown one time one time out of three times understood that is the meaning of that understood this yeah yeah okay okay now we will calculate the probability let us suppose write down a equal to getting 6 getting 6 um a equal to getting 6 not getting 6 means any other number okay say some other event so getting 6 write down the probability of a probability of twice out of 3 right this is the answer for this question uh, can you tell me uh, b equal to other event other number so probability of b equal to how much one out of three mm. one time other number is one time out of three times six will be twice appearing twice appearing in two times it shows understood this question Yes. Yeah. Okay. Next, we will discuss the next concepts in the next class. Okay. 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 Take care. Bye bye. Thank you.